Greetings and salutations, connoisseurs of all things crappy. Today we're working on a thermostat for my swamp cooler. I already installed it, but I wanted to show what I did, and instead of watching a whole 10, 20 minutes of putting wiring together, which I only have one set of hands, um, I thought I'd just show you the end result. So, the swamp coolers, when they uh, they run all the time, on or off, with, with the, when they have the normal switch, and I'll show you the switch I had in a minute, and you have to wake up at 3 in the morning and turn it off because it's like 60 degrees in your house. So installing a thermostat's a good thing. Uh, and it makes, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I've been using it recently and uh, what a difference it makes. So, here we go. Let me get the switch out. The switch looked like this on the wall. It, it, it was a double, it takes up a double gang, um, and that's the, the wall right there. And it's a double gang, which means for two light switches box. So if you had a single gang, the new ones I think are single gang switches, um, it's a lot, it'll be a lot harder to fit all these wires in here. So if you have a double gang, you're in pretty good shape. And that's what a double gang looks like. A single gang will just be a regular looking wall plate. Of course, I will switch on it instead of a light switch or anything, but it'll be a regular sized wall plate. So, what we got here, let me show you the back of this switch. Okay, you'll see down here is the power from the wall. The power from the wall has to go in it. It's called L1. The red wire is for the low speed fan. The black wire is for the high speed fan and the orange wire is for the pump. So the red wire is on number, says number one, the orange wire says number two and the black wire says number three. You can look this up online if you want, but uh, that's, a, that's a quick run through. Since it was already wired up, it made it pretty easy. I didn't have to take the meter out, which is good because I'm not really good with the meter. And uh, yeah. So there's a black and white wire and a ground wire coming in originally. And I took the, the white wire, the ground wire was already connected to the ground wire for the, uh, for the swamp cooler harness. So it, it might have been put on here, but it wasn't. This is the ground part of it, of the switch, but it, it wasn't on there. And, and in the wirings, it shows you just wire the two together. Well, this one has... A ground wire on it so we'll show that next as I switch scenes all right so the red wire went up to the red wire uh, from the switch here went to the red wire up in the that went up to the swamp cooler the orange wire from the switch goes to the orange wire from the swamp cooler and I was just matching they described what the orange wire does and the red and white from the from this it's written right on the side of here so that's how I was ma able to match them up. And the yellow wire goes to the black wire because the black wire is the high speed. Um, and on here it said the, the yellow wire was the high speed for the switch. So I just wired uh, following the wiring diagram um, and following the color coding on this. And I followed the, you know, the wire diagram I got online for the switch. And that's how I got the two wired together. And the white wire goes to the white wire in the harness, white hot wire that comes from the uh, fuse panel, and the white wire on here. So it's three white wires on here. So that's it for uh, wiring this thing. Why don't we go turn it on to make sure we don't have any zappy zappies, and uh, we'll go from there. Forgot to add while wiring that the black wire that comes that was on the left-hand side that come from the box, that goes into the black wire of the uh, thermostat. And uh, that's listed as a power wire on the wiring di diagram on the thermostat. And you could see that it was in the power position on the original switch. And that's it. Thanks. All right, I'm at my fuse panel. Hold on to your butts. No zappy zappy, yikey yikey, so, or shocky shocky, so, okay. Well, I mean, it still might be doing it in the house, but usually if it's really bad, you'll see a spark or hear in, or in, a, in the breaker roll trip right away. So we'll see how that works. Let's go to the, go to the thermostat next. 
Alrighty then, well we're back and there's no exploding or anything, everything looks good, the display is on. So, I uh, I got a, a a plate because this is a double gang box and this, this is designed to go into a single gang. I got an adapter plate from the same store I got this from. And um, so it lets me put this in and covers up the rest so you don't have to cobble some plates together and make it look good. And I painted it, of course. Um, you paint it the same color as the wall, it blends in, it's a stuff switch now. So, okay, it's on the off position and I need to calibrate the temperature because it thinks it's 78, 77 degrees in here. You hold both buttons down while it's in the off position. And I hope this works. Yay! So it's about 74 in here. And I, I got this, you hold both buttons down and it, being in the off position with the fan pump switch, that's how you set the set the set point. Um, I mean, that's how you set, calibrate the, the temperature. So you say, okay, it's 74, set to 74. Um, now there's also a way, this thing has a pre-soak pre function where it soaks the pads for two to four minutes. And you can set that by do, playing with these buttons as well. So, yeah, that's what's happening there. Let's uh, now set the set point. Oh, we got to turn it on first. Set the set point to, I think I had it at 76 before. Or let's just set it to 75. Uh, we might set it to 74 to get the thing to go off so you can see the pre-soak cycle working. Yeah, we'll set it to 74. So the green blinking light means it's uh, pre-soaking the pads. Um, and it, it blinks the temperature that you set it at. So, and when it goes to solid, that's the temperature it's supposed to be in the house. So... It's soaking right now, and in uh, two minutes, it's set for two minutes, it will it will turn on the, the fan, and we'll be good to go. So that's it. That's how to set one of these things up. And, uh, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I've had some electrical work. I've worked on electrical wiring before. If you've never worked on electrical wiring, don't do this. Get a friend to help you, someone who knows electrical wiring. But I've done electrical wiring, so I know what I'm doing. Um, also, um, like I said, just get a, just get one of these backing plates and paint it so it looks nice. Otherwise you got this bright white thing behind here and it looks a lot better with it painted. And that's it. This is a pretty simple unit, easy to use, easy to install. Also make sure you, um, turn off the power. That's the first thing you do. And if you don't know that, you shouldn't be trying to install one of these. If you don't know that you have to turn the power off. And you saw me turn the power back on, so I think that was pretty obvious. But I want to state it just in case if someone electrocutes themselves, I didn't do it. All right, then. That's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, live long and prosper.